This video is part of a series showing you how to use the Lightorama Show Editor to build a show. And uh, it's a series of videos because there's a lot of options in shows and different videos will show you different options. So in previous videos, we've built the show and let's open it up. Here it is. And just to remind you, we have things in our startup section, our animation, musical, and shutdown. And basically the way that the show will work with it the way it is right now is when uh, the, sh the start of the show's schedule, uh, when the scheduled time that the show will start is reached, the startup section will begin. And each sequence in the startup section will play one after the other. In this case, we only have one sequence in the startup section, so it will play. Then when it finishes, or in generally speaking, when the last one in your startup section finishes, the startup section ends, and the animation and musical sequences begin. And uh, these will just keep repeating over and over and over again until the scheduled end of your show is reached. And uh, just to remind you, the scheduling is done in another program called the Lightorama Schedule Editor. It's not done in the show editor. So maybe you have it scheduled, this show scheduled, to run until 9 o'clock. And these sequences in the musical section will just keep repeating over and over and over again until 9 o'clock is reached. Similarly, the animation section will keep repeating over and over. When 9 o'clock is reached, then it's going to be at in the middle of some song, in all likelihood, from the musical section. Let's say it's in the middle of the elements. The elements will be allowed to finish. It won't just suddenly be cut off. When it finishes, then both the musical and animation sections will stop. At that time, the shutdown section will begin. And similarly to the startup section, the sequences in the shutdown section will play in order one at a time. In this case, there's just a single sequence, so it will play. And then when it finishes, the shutdown section finishes and your show is done. Now, in this video, we're going to show you the background section. The background section is for sequences that you want playing throughout your entire show. And that means from the very beginning, so the background section will start up at the same time that the startup section starts up. And it'll go from that very beginning to the very end. So the background section will keep playing until the shutdown section shuts down. So let's add a sequence to the background section. And let's try radio sign. Now, that's just to give you some idea of the kind of thing that would go in the background section. Maybe you have your music playing uh, not just through speakers, but through a, a small radio transmitter. And if so, you might want to have a sign in your yard that says, hey, tune in to 87.9 FM to listen to the music. And maybe that sign is lit up and uh, maybe it flashes once in a while to call attention to it. And so you would want, you might want at least, <laughs> the sequence that shows the lights for that sign in the background section so that it will play continuously from the very start of your show to the very end of your show. And now that we've added in this sequence, oh, I should also say, excuse me, before I go on, um, you can have more than one sequence in the background section maybe this fading V, and now both of them will play simultaneously and continuously for the entire length of your show. In this case, I really only want one of them, so I'll take this one out. And uh, another thing that I should mention, uh, I mentioned it in the video on the animation section as well, but it, it's good to keep it in mind for the background section as well. If you have uh, two different sequences that might be running at the same time. And remember, the background sequence runs all the time, so it'll run at the same time as this sequence, and at the same time as these, and these, and these. You have two sequences that are running at the same time. If they are controlling the same circuit on some controller, 
you're probably going to run into problems because both of them are telling the circuit what to do. So, for example, one of them might be telling the, the that string of lights, now it's time to turn on. And the same channel is going to be told by another sequence, now it's time to turn off. Maybe even within a moment of each other. So it's probably not going to work out the way that you want. So for these sequences that you put in the background section, you should make sure that they have no channels in common with any of the other sequences in your show. Otherwise, they're going to fight for control for those channels, and it's not going to work out the way you want in all likelihood. And the Lightorama Verifier, which is another program, um, can be used to detect problems like that, and lots of other problems too, before you actually run your show. So you can fix them before the problem ever actually happens, rather than noticing it while your show is happening. So anyway, now we've added in a background sequence to our show. Let's make sure we save the changes. And uh, there's our show for now. So I think that's it for this video. I hope this helps.